I'd love to hear, you know, from you, you know, how, you know, how do you think organizations have focused on developing a culture of trust around technology? It's a really interesting question because I think trust inherently needs to come outside of just technology, um, inside of values and culture at an organizational level and the way that you communicate with your people. If that sense of trust isn't there, so I've I've had the question asked of me when we've talked about people working remotely and on calls with uh, potential clients where they've gone, yeah, but how do you know what people are doing when you can't see them? And I'm like, well, how did you know what they were doing when they were in the office? Because surely you just didn't go and stand by every individual and just monitor their screen sort of all day. So we need to move out of this just because I can't see you in a physical space. I don't know what you're doing. And that needs to come out of, you know, clear, job descriptions, clear accountability, clear output and continual feedback if that's not right or, or where it needs to be. I yeah. mean, that real communication with our people that then of course extends to technology. Um, you know, we, we saw a few years back that, you know, people didn't want uh, one of their, 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 their teams picking up a personal device or they didn't want them going on their phone. But the reality is I'm going to to enable me to do that and trust me to know that actually I'm very aware of what I need to do and how I best need to work and if my output isn't you know to what's expected and of course have that as a conversation with me give me technology that enables me to do that in terms of how and when and where I want to be able to work that does allow me to personalize things does allow me to communicate in a way that I'm free to express myself and bring my whole self to work um, and I think, you know, at it, it, its core, this, this trust has to come out so much more than just inside of tech, um, because we're talking about human resources, right? The human mm. beings, um, the tech enables, culture enables, but it's all wrapped into to the people that we do this for. Um, I think we'll see more automation um, naturally come into that technology and people will be very aware of, you know, what, what how that influences or changes their jobs and i think taking people on that journey if people feel communicated with as to what data are you tracking and why and what's going to change um you know you're, you're taking them on that that journey with you so that trust is you know is felt both sides i think as well i i think an organization that's you know, putting in technology to monitor people on camera all the time or keystrokes or um, mouse movement. I think it's more of a big brother way to, to, to implement mm. technology than it is an enabler and a, and a trust centric culture. Yeah, I'd, I'd share that sentiment. I'm not sure the real benefit um, to mm. organisations of, of, of doing that. Some slippery salespeople out there that are probably peddling yeah. for that technology, we, to be honest with you. I've, I've heard the, the stories of uh, colleges that are over in the States that have put in some of that tech, and all students have done is attached a wired mouse to a fan so that the fan will just move the mouse slightly so it tracks the pattern. So it, people will find a way around these things anyway. So I think ultimately we just, we need to connect with each other as, as human beings. And ultimately, if you don't trust that person in your business, it's not just the technology that you don't trust, right? It's, no. <laughs> it's them as the individual. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.